tasted like cough syrup. I wasn't a huge fan of the bold flavor, so the ads are a little bit misleading. Too. So what is even in this stuff? Like. So I am in no way a alcohol expert, a wine connoisseur. I am just a regular person who saw a very attractive Instagram ad and thought, I'm gonna try that out. This is also not a sponsored video. I paid my own money for this shipment. However, I do have just a standard referral code, which will give you a discount. I will put all of that in the description box. So now let's talk about what is House in the first place. Well, basically House is a direct consumer alcohol company. They're based in Sonoma, California. So they live amongst the big players and the titans in the traditional wine companies of this industry. However, they are trying to innovate and be a little bit different and more modern than traditional companies. So they advertise their products as being low alcohol aperitifs. So this is essentially meant to be drunk before meals, but they can be made into cocktails. There's all different types of ways to use the product itself. They also offer this subscription like membership model. Personally, I didn't do this just because I'm really bad at canceling subscriptions like this and I just knew I would end up probably getting more shipments than I was really bargaining for. But if you are interested, they do have a membership which is free to join and basically it is an ongoing subscription. You can cancel it and rejoin at any time, but if you don't touch it, it will just keep charging you every single month. And you can either choose with the membership to either get one, two, or six bottles. If you do the two or six bottle option, there is a discount of either 10 or 20%. Also with the membership, you get free shipping as well as exclusive access to certain flavors, as well as like exclusive events. I don't really know what the events are. I don't really take too much stock in that, but if that's uh, something you're into, then you may wanna check out the membership options for more details. And personally, I think if this is something that you end up liking and wanting to keep ordering multiple times, then I think the membership option is probably worth it. Now, at this point, the items that you purchase from House are purchased and shipped directly to your door. So I'm currently based in California right now, so the shipping wasn't too far, but I placed my order Wednesday night and actually received the box on Saturday. So everything is shipped directly through like USPS or FedEx. Personally, I had no problems with the delivery itself, but that's kind of the business model of what House is. So before we talk too much about House specifically, let's back up and talk about what is an aperitif in the first place, if that's even how you say it. Aperitif. I feel fancy just saying the word. But if you had asked me before I had tried that out this product, what is an aperitif? I think I could tell you what it was, but I don't think I could tell you really any examples of it. So let me just fill you in if you're not familiar. So basically an aperitif is an alcohol that is meant to be drunk prior to a meal. And I had to consult my friendly friend Wikipedia to get more information. And what I found out is aperitifs are normally more dry compared to sweet. And this is supposed to stimulate the appetite. So some examples of commonly known aperitifs are vermouth, champagne, dry sherry, Aperol, like an Aperol spritz, and gin. Now let's talk about the alcohol level of house. And the reason I wanna talk about this is one of the biggest selling points and the things that they talk about in the advertising for this company is the fact that it is low alcohol, low ABV. They say things like, oh, drink with, you know, without the hangover, stuff like that. And I feel like those are kind of bold claims. So with all of that, advertising and for the ones I tried the alcohol percentages range between 18 and 20 percent alcohol and they consider this a low alcohol aperitif and I have a little bit of a problem with this method of advertising and to be honest I wouldn't really consider this a low alcohol aperitif now that we know what aperitifs are let's go back and look at the alcohol percentages for the items that i talked about so for example vermouth alcohol percentage is about 17.5 champagne is typically about 12.5 dry sherry about 18 percent we also have aperol which is only 11 percent and then gin is much higher at about 40 to 45 percent so House is not really low on the list, at least of the common ones that I found. They're actually about right in the middle of aperitif. They are, of course, much lower than gin, for example, which is 40 to 45%, but they're also much higher than 
other aperitifs. You compare it to just traditional wine, I found that the average wine is about 12% alcohol. So these house aperitifs are 50% higher in the alcohol compared to your standard wine. So I think the ads are a little bit misleading to label this as like low alcohol or like a lighter alcohol option. Now, I will give them the benefit and say that yes, this is a lot lower alcohol than gin, for example. However, this does not taste like gin, okay? This tastes more like apple juice than it tastes like gin. It does not have the strong alcohol taste that you would get with a spirit like gin. So, you, I don't see these as like interchangeable things that you could just like swap it out and you would have no idea. Like this is a lot easier to drink. Obviously, if you're drinking at all, you should be responsibly drinking. You should know what you're putting in your body and you should read the alcohol labels before you like drink too much of anything. But I think the ads are a little bit misleading when they're saying things like this is like low alcohol, low ABV. So I just wanna point that out. I still enjoy trying out these products. I would still potentially purchase them again, but I do wanna call that out if anyone is purchasing this specifically for the low alcohol advertisements. So what is even in this stuff? Like how do they get these colors? What is it? So let's talk about the ingredients. So basically House uses Chardonnay grapes as the base. So it's basically like a Chardonnay wine. However, they add other botanicals to the mix and they also have some added sugar. So if you look at the ingredients list, there is a little bit of added sugar for most of the different flavors. So keep that in mind. It's Now let's talk about the calories. So the calories per ounce are actually pretty low, they range from like 25 to 35, which is actually pretty good, I would say. So you could definitely make yourself like a tasty drink for like three ounces and add some soda water and it could be like under hundred calories. So I think that is pretty good. You could even have like a full glass of this for like a five ounce glass. And it would be like 150 calories. So if you're using it again, as a comparison to the higher alcohol options, then it is lower calorie, which is pretty nice. So how does this stuff actually taste? My overall impressions of all the flavors is they are all quite sweet. I would say if you've ever had mead or like a honey wine, they are very, very reminiscent of that. I feel like they all had a bit of like a syrupy, like honey type of flavor. So the first one that I would say is my favorite, and that's probably why it's almost gone, is the citrus flower. This one I would say is the sweetest. It had really distinctive like honey apricot flavor. It was quite sweet, but it still had like a fruity flavor that personally I really enjoyed. Um, I tried mixing this with some soda water, which kind of cut down on the sweetness, but I still found that those like distinctive kind of apricot flavors still came through and I found it really tasty. So the citrus flower was definitely my favorite. Next I tried the lemon lavender. So this one I would say the lavender flavor definitely comes through more in my opinion than the lemon. This I would say is pretty similar to the citrus flower. However, it did have a bit lighter of a flavor. It didn't quite have that like syrupy vibe that I got from the citrus flower, but still it was quite sweet. I tried mixing this one with some lemon spindrift, basically some lemon like sparkling water. And that kind of brought out the lemon flavor a little bit, balanced a little bit more with the lavender and I found that again really tasty. It was surprising to me how sweet these all were considering that at least according to Wikipedia aperitifs are normally dry so I guess that's a little bit different but you know I don't really know what I'm talking about. Anyways moving on let's talk about the rose 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 I don't know what it is, but this next flavor I would say is the one that is most similar to just a traditional wine. This one just tasted the most like normal to me. Like I, I didn't taste as many like botanicals. It just tasted more like rose wine. And it was definitely still a little bit sweet, but it wasn't as distinctively sweet as the other flavors. So I think if you're a little bit hesitant about like the sweetness factor, Maybe, maybe you should try out the rosé rosé. So the last one, and maybe you could tell that this one has the most of it left in it, but this one I just, I didn't like. This was the spiced cherry. It tasted like cough syrup. I, I personally would not order this one again. That being said, my husband tried this one and for some reason he said this one was his favorite. So I don't know, I guess it's just a personal preference thing. He said that he liked this one because it had the most like bold flavor, which, I don't know, I guess it's true, but I wasn't a huge fan of the bold flavor. So those are the four flavors that I tried. So now for my final verdict on this company, if I think this service membership is worth trying out. 
So first of all, as I said, I do have a problem with how this company is advertising itself as this like low alcohol option. That being said, I did actually like a few of the products. I, now I definitely would not order all of the flavors again, but some of them I did actually like, like the citrus flower and lemon lavender and the flavors were pretty unique in my opinion. I did like the kind of the combination of wine with botanicals. Personally, I've not tasted anything that's really exactly like this. So I did like it. It was like a new, interesting flavor. And I could definitely see myself incorporating this and drinking this from time to time. Um, I thought some of them were pretty good. However, I would say if you don't like sweet drinks, if you don't like sweet wine flavors, I would definitely pass on this because at least the four flavors that I tried, all of them were pretty sweet. They also had some added sugar. And of course, as we talked about, if you're looking for something that's actually, you know, a low alcohol, no alcohol option, there are better options out there that are going to be much less alcohol. So yeah, those are my thoughts. And if you do end up trying it out, it would be awesome if you use my referral link down in the description box. And until next time, bye.